What's up guys, welcome to Mothman Jones Movie Reviews, I'm your host John Maffio, and today's featured film is Inside Lewin Davis. As you may or may not know, I attended New York Film Festival yesterday, and I saw two films, this one and another movie, and whether or not they were great, I'm about to let you know right now, but let's just say it was a fantastic weekend. Inside Lewin Davis was directed by the Coen brothers, who have made a lot of okay movies in the past. And it stars the likes of Oscar Isaac, Carrie Mulligan, John Goodman, Justin Timberlake, Garrett Hedlund, and Cat. Little tidbit, the two leads of the film, Carrie Mulligan and Oscar Isaac, they were both a couple in Drive, and they were a couple in this film too. The plot takes place in the 1960s, when folk music was starting to rise, and Elvis was still in his prime, and this guy, Lewin Davis, he's a has-been singer, he has a past in music that is far long gone now. He's homeless and he couches from friend to friend in Manhattan and he's just trying to find his place in life again. And that's basically what I'm going to say without spoiling anything. Now to get to my consensus before I get into details, Inside Lewin Davis has to be one of the best Coen Brothers movies I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen quite a few of them. This movie's pretty masterful. It has a lot of powerful imagery and a lot of powerful music. If they're original or not, which I'm not sure actually, but it was still a very, very effective movie. The acting all around was actually very solid, and most actors come and go in the story, but the main people who stay are Carrie Mulligan and Oscar Isaac, the two main leads, and there are a couple who distance themselves for reasons that you find out in the film. Um, they both were really good. Uh, Carrie Mulligan showing off her uh, yelling skills, and Oscar Isaac has potential to have uh, Oscar nominee for Best Leading Man. John Goodman's in this movie and he's very funny. Justin Timberlake's in this movie and he's not annoying like people seem to think he is. He's actually pretty good with a supporting role and everybody just gives a good performance to complement the story. The directing by the Coen Brothers is actually what you would expect from a Coen Brothers film but it's also, it has a very solid direction and it's, it's bleak, it's cold, just like the atmosphere of the movie and it's very depressing for the most part. I'm not gonna say what happens in the film but it's not a very redeeming movie in terms of characters and plot. It's just, it shows a realistic tale of a musician whose life is just going through the shit and some more shit, 50 more feet of shit, and then an endless pit of hell. And throughout this movie, I was just thinking, is, this, is he ever going to catch a break? Will he catch a break? Oh god, he's not catching a break. Is he ever going to catch a break? And it's awful. It's like a car crash, like an awful one. You just can't look away. The cinematography for this movie is absolutely stunning. It's bleak and cold, like I mentioned before. It has a very dark, gloomy atmosphere. And it's set in the winter, which I love, like Prisoners, where it's a lot of snow, a lot of just really bleak weather. I enjoy that very much so. But it was filmed very well, because it's mostly still, you know, Coen Brothers don't do the shaky cam thing. They, the way they film their shots and the way they compose and frame, it's masterful, really. And it helps... Make the movie feel consistent. From the opening musical act, which is sang very beautifully by actor Oscar Isaac, who, by the way, has a really good singing voice, if that's his actual voice, you tell, you could tell this film is going to be a very dark film that isn't going to really be happy, even though there actually, surprisingly, is a lot of comedic moments in this movie, and if you've seen Big Lebowski, you know the Coen brothers actually have a lot of experience in the humor department, and the movie does have a lot of good humor to balance out the darkness. But overall, the movie is still a very depressing one. The overall messages and the morals of the film Inside Lewin Davis are tough. I would not show this movie to your kids while they're in that time of innocence. But, yeah, it basically shows how the world could be very rejecting. You get tired and exhausted at some point, and you just want to give up. It's very effective and it's very powerful, and there's basically climaxes, in my opinion, of the film. Little climaxes that happen every so often, where there's a crescendo. Every now and then in the film, Oscar Isaac, who plays Lewin Davis, would have a moment where he would sing a song, and he would, sometimes he would sing a full song, sometimes just a minute or two, but those moments in my opinion, served as climaxes for the character's story because he would go through a lot of problems and then he would sing. He would go through some more problems and then he would sing. And singing is very passionate, it's very soulful, and it basically, you pour out everything that's within you when you sing. Like, music is about letting yourself go. And he does in this movie, and it shows, it's actually very, very powerful. But Inside Lewin Davis is a very effective film. It's funny, it's sad, it's just overall a very gloomy movie that you don't want to watch when you're bored. You have to be prepared to be emotionally constrained when you watch this film. And it's a hands-on take on a character. It's like if John Mayer's career went to total shit. 
Like, and then he had to build his way back up, which he would, because who doesn't like John Mayer? You have to prepare yourself for it, like I said before. It looks absolutely beautiful and amazing. It has really good acting and some Oscar hopes, too, in there. And the story is structured in a manner where it doesn't feel that long, it never feels redundant, and by the end of it, you just feel emotionally tired. In a good way. I'm going to say that this film is a very strong 4 out of 5 stars. It's a darn good movie. Since this movie does not release until November, if you saw it at New York Film Festival, or you plan to see it when it comes out next month, what do you think about Inside Lewin Davis? Anything at all? Let me know in the comments down below. Please subscribe to Mothman Jones and like this video so you don't miss another review. Also check out my Facebook, Twitter, and We Live Film links in the info box. I'm John Maffio, aka Mothman Jones, and if you haven't noticed, go check out John Mayer's Daughters again if you haven't listened to it recently. It has a lot of undertones that suggest incest. See you next time. Mm -hmm.